Anthony Slater here with Darnell Mayberry at the peak for the Thunder Bob Moore Ford, uh, you know, Thunder update. And we're just going to be talking Kevin Durant today, MVP. It seems like he's wrapped it up to everyone in the league has pretty much conceded. LeBron conceded it to him. Kevin Durant seems like the only person in the world that may think this is still a race. Yeah, Kevin Durant has always taken that approach where he doesn't believe in something until it happens. So he doesn't want to jinx himself. He doesn't want to basically count his uh, chickens before they hatch. He wants to basically make sure he wraps it up uh, before really speaking on it and saying, uh, or at least expressing relief uh, in his first MVP award. It's a big award for him, and I think he really uh, wants to win it this year. It would mean a lot, so uh, he doesn't want to jinx it. To you, what has been the most impressive about his season? I mean, we're talking, obviously, a career high in points for a guy who already had three scoring titles. He's done a lot of it without, you know, his superstar, you know, running mate. What has been the most impressive to you about his season? Well, you know, he's got the numbers, uh, you know, all the production Category-wide, he's got points, rebounds, assists, blocks, steals. The efficiency is still there. I like most how he's really elevated the play of his teammates. Uh, and in the absence of Russell Westbrook, he still made sure this team was winning. I mean, they're still uh, right there with a chance to win 60 games. Uh, and without Russell Westbrook for so much of this season, I think that's the most impressive thing. Kevin Durant really led this team uh, to a 60-win season, essentially, without a top 10, top 5 player in Russell Westbrook. It'll, it'll likely be handed to him, you know, I think come early May or around the end of the first round of the playoffs. But since we both, you know, pretty much agree that it's wrapped up, what would this mean to him? What will it mean to the city, the organization as a whole for him to get this award, which is a big award? Yeah, I think for him, it puts him uh, on another level. It puts him among the game's greats. Uh, you're talking Magic Johnson, uh, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, uh, you know, the, the biggest names that have ever played this game. Uh, so I think that alone is just a significant milestone for him and we we think this is going to be the first of many forms so uh, that's what it does for him for this team it also solidifies this franchise uh, as a true winning franchise I mean it's going to have its first ever MVP and only its sixth year of existence so that's huge in my book um, and then this city if you go back to uh, 2008 when this team came here, everyone talked about it being a big league city. Well, now the NBA MVP could possibly be right here in Oklahoma City and doesn't get more big league than that. Maybe a finals MVP make it a little bit more big league, right? But, but I agree with what you're saying, and that'll do it for us. For the Thunder Update presented by Bob Moore Ford, for the best Thunder coverage team anywhere, stay tuned to NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoma.